Yo, what's snapping zombies? You're watching Nacho Slacker, and I know it's been a long time since I've talked about the truck, or since I've updated you on what I've been doing on the truck. I have a, a lot of updates for you. I will tell you how I did everything. I also have some bad news, depending on who you ask, right? The big blue beater is awesome. I love it. It's, it's everything I wanted in the truck, right? But as I told you before, it's 305. So that's kind of a downer. Um, I got this truck. I've done so much work to it. And I've gotten this truck to like almost exactly where I want it. But it comes a day where you gotta say goodbye to something. And we're gonna say goodbye to the big blue Peter. Yep, I'm gonna sell it. Good news is I'm buying the exact same truck, but it's gonna be red, my favorite color, and it has a 350 in it. So 94 C1500, red, good shape, interior is a wreck. So I'm gonna have to fix the interior, so there you go. You got some more videos coming up about interior stuff and it's a 350 so we'll be able to do a little bit more stuff to it or possibly ls swap it we don't know yet i was gonna ls swap the big blue beater but she's uh she's gonna be saying goodbye to me here soon but i am gonna go over a whole bunch of stuff that i've done in the truck since the last time i talked to you guys we're gonna look at the exhaust system because i haven't quite finished a video about that yet since i put the dual exhausts on it since I last talked to you, I did put a two and a half inch lift on the front coils. I put Bilstein shocks on, and I also put 31 inch uh, BF Goodwrench KO2 all terrains on all of them. Got an alignment. I changed my upper ball joints. But I am gonna show you how I did that stuff, you know, and show you all the, the more rust fixing I've done on it, on the undercarriage. Um, I didn't quite get to the cab corners. I do have cab corners, but I'm gonna give that to the guy who's gonna buy my truck. So that way it'll make it a little bit easier for him as well. You know, the person that's buying my truck, he's gonna get a nice truck. It's a good truck. I've done a lot of work on it and he shouldn't have to do very much at all. He's a Chevy guy, so I'm happy that it's gonna go to another Chevy guy. Actually, I know it's going to a good home. He's gonna put some rally wheels on it. Uh, it's gonna look pretty sick. I'm gonna see if he'll send me some pictures of it after he buys it and put the rally wheels on there and we're gonna see what it looks like but I'll give you guys a, a good walk around show you what I did with the exhaust show you what I did with the uh, ball joints show you how I did the lift what to look for all the things that comes with all that stuff and uh, I also changed the AC compressor because it wasn't blown cold but uh, that was pretty easy there are more OBS videos coming because I'm gonna buy another OBS same year and everything it's a happy day, but a sad day for some. Out with the blue and with the new, which is red. All right, so I'm underneath the truck, and this is the dual exhaust system. This is how it looks. I mean, it's got a little surface rust on it now because of the damn clamps, but this is how it looks. I decided to have them coming out the sides because I thought that looks a little cooler. Right there, I cut them off. Cause one, they were a little long, so I cut them off like right here on both sides, but the same. So that's that. I have them clamped where they're supposed to connect together. They could be welded later, but this is what I did on the mounts. I have a mount here that's going to the frame. It's like right behind this. mount on the other side same thing I got a clamp there so it's holding it together I got everything this way I go around this is where you guys last saw I had that temporary little mount over here but uh, that was just holding this straight pipe on so this is the glass pack right here. Of course it's gotten stuff on it since I've put it on. But I put a mount there, mounted it to the cross member. That's, that's the actual frame, not the bed. So you can pop the bed off without you know messing up your exhaust or nothing. You wanna mount this thing to the frame. 
not the cab, not the bed. So it's it's fucking sprinkling. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, I got it here. You already seen how I mounted this. It sounds awesome. It looks awesome, I think. And I've done so much back here and so much rust restoration. But yeah, that's it. That sounds super good. I love it. Okay, so I put these uh, coil spacers in right up in here. I don't know if you can see it. There it is right there. Silver. As you can see, I also put Bilstein shocks on it because I lifted it. And they feel great. Um, I had to change these out. I cannot remember what they're called right now for some reason. Um, I had to change those out. I put AC Delco ones in because the other ones were real rusty. And I didn't want to put the same ones in. But uh, I put some new bolts on my shocks over here that on so basically I had to take this all apart I changed my upper ball joint too and I flipped it so that way I have more clearance for the upper control arm but uh I put new ball joints on so I took this bolt off I jacked the truck up put took this crown or yeah the crown nut off and I, as I popped this, you know, I jacked it up as I, as, as I popped everything apart, I did have a jack underneath here to keep this from springing open. And uh, I let down the jack, pulled out the spring. I didn't need the spring compressor until I did the spacer. So I compressed the spring before I put everything back together and I also used, you can't use a spring compressor that compresses on the outside. You have to use the one that goes up through the middle and compresses like it has little arms on it. And you compress that thing down pretty good and put the spacer on top. And then depending on how big your spacer is, is how much you're gonna have to compress this spring. Um, compress it together and then Put it all back in the assembly. Make sure you, you put the bottom of the spring back in the right notch. Make sure that uh, spacer sits properly. It's all seated good and nice. And then you can relieve the spring compressor and let it down. Keep the jack underneath so that way it doesn't, you know, fling your control arm down. Uh, let it down until it's all the way off. Take the spring compressor out throw your shock up in there and then from the top you're gonna screw in your shock and then make sure it's screwed in the bottom once they're both screwed in you can take out the jack but um, you are gonna have to watch out for your brake lines whenever you take this crown nut off and separate it from your upper control arm because it is gonna sit out a little bit so you have you know enough room and clearance to get that spring in there but it turned out good it wasn't too hard um, I got alignment got everything done and this lift allowed me to put these 31 inch BFGs on here and they look really good Super good. Nothing rubs, nothing hits. There's this side, and it sits pretty decent. It's a little higher in the front, but it sits good. It looks good. Everything looks great. These tires are like super I got them used but they only had like a thousand miles on them. so they got plenty of tread on there they ride super smooth nothing too crazy so I'll definitely go with these BFGs every time
without a doubt. But yeah, that's it. So I had to change my AC compressor because it still wasn't blowing cold. All you have to do is take off that bolt, that bolt, and there's one down in here behind the belt. You take that off. Of course, you got to take your belt off first. But you take those three bolts out. Take this off. And bam, it'll pop right out. Of course, you got to take your connectors off. It'll pop right off. When you put your new one on, uh, make sure that you pull a vacuum on everything. Make sure it's not leaking. And then pull a vacuum for like an hour. And make sure you have all that moisture that probably got in there while you were changing everything make sure you got all that out now if your compressor took a crap on you instead of just leaked like mine did mine was just leaking through the seals so it didn't take a crap it didn't explode or anything um, but uh, if it did explode you're gonna have to change out your condenser your um, collector dryer thing um, you're gonna have to change all that stuff out because you don't want none of that stuff in your lines to ruin your new compressor. So yeah, the AC bowl is cold now. So, that's that. So this is probably the last time I'm gonna drive this truck. And it's, it's been a, it's been a beautiful thing. But, uh, let's take it for a ride. See how she's been. Starts right up, baby. Beautiful. Listen to that exhaust. Put a new boost valve in the transmission so it shifts good. Let's take it for one last little drive. Slacker OBS will live on. They got you sitting on the dash, that's why it's making noise. Let's kick this AC on, roll the window up. Kick this AC on.
is how people want to live in Florida. With AC. Can't give nobody a used vehicle in any way, shape, or form without no AC, man. Not in Florida. Blown cold, ice cold. Oh, yeah. That new AC compressor is doing great. You know the beautiful thing about this, though? Now I don't have to play any guessing games. I already know what I want to do to OBSs. I know what I like in my OBSs. I know how to work on them. I know the ins and outs. And me getting another one, it's going to be a lot better. do big things. I'm gonna see if I can get on it. I'm getting on a more of an open road. Go a little off-road real quick. Let's see if I can get on it right here. truck that's why this thing this it, it might be a 305 but this thing it goes somewhere sorry I dropped you guys yeah the guy is gonna get this truck he's gonna love it he's definitely gonna love it Bicycles and all in the middle of the road, fucking walking and everything. Trying to exercise, I guess, makes sense. But let's see if I can open her up real quick. Sounds good too. Yeah, man. I don't, I'm like regretting it. I don't know if I want to sell it anymore. But I, 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 I just have to keep thinking. I know I'm getting a new one, so it'll be all right. Everybody's all looking and shit. This thing's loud. <sighs> All right, guys. Thanks from the blip, big boop. <laughs> All right, zombies. Thank you from the big blue beater. Thank you from Nacho Slacker for watching this trip. This very emotional and, and crazy trip with this truck. Thank you for being here. And I hope you stay and watch all the new interesting videos I'm, I'm going to come out with with this new OBS. And I hope you love it all. I'm going to get probably a little bit more video and then call it a day. Alright zombies. Nacho Slacker and the Big Blue Beater are out.